Hey there, and welcome back to the Transformers The Game 2.0 mod! As you recall, in the last episode, we wrapped up our exploration of the Autobot campaign with one final run-through of all the content that I missed. And now, it is time to do the same for the Decepticons. We're gonna be doing pretty much the same thing here, going through each level, and covering any content that I missed. Or maybe cover some things that I did cover that you just might not be aware of. So we'll just go through the campaign level by level, and get this done. And then I'll summarize my final thoughts on the campaign as a whole. So, let's get this done, once and for all. Up first we have D1 Chapter 1, Sandstorm. Now, I covered the entirety of this updated chapter in a separate video, so if you want to see that, check out this video. That aside though, there are two easter eggs to be found here. The first is a green version of Shockwave's helicopter. I caught this in my original playthrough, but I'm mentioning it here all the same. This was a reskin done by Blackout based on early concept art for Shockwave, and it can be found near the middle of the airbase. The other easter egg is one I completely missed. This one can be found in a storage area between several hangars, and it is the second of Shockwave's vehicle modes his artillery mode. This is again another reskin by Blackout based on a slightly different color scheme for Shockwave. And as you may recall, we fought both of these in the airbase level. Moving on to chapter 3, should you decide to deploy Scorponok as I failed to, you will gain the ability to find Evil Bumblebee's car hidden in the village. Of course, it is worth mentioning that it can only be found after you have destroyed four of the communications trucks. So, you have to hit the village one last. I covered this in a separate video, but I think it is worth mentioning here again. Jumping ahead to D2 Chapter 2, there are a couple of bonus lines that you can hear from Starscream depending on how close Bumblebee gets to the police station. After him, Barricade! Don't let him escape! He's heading for the police station! After him! And while somewhat insignificant, in D2 Chapter 3, there is a bonus mod you can install to get the missing jeeps. Rather simple, I know, but I just want to cover this all the same. And jumping all the way to Cybertron, there are actually two bonus fights you can encounter. The first is for Scorponok. To play this fight, all you have to do is choose him in the character Beacon. And you will get a totally unique fight where you have to take down 15 Drone Defaults. It is quite a simple fight for one such as Scorponok, but still a neat little touch all the same. And after you finished, you get thrown out into Blackout. If you play through the entirety of Decepticon Cybertron without switching characters, you can fight Starscream. Which compared to Optimus, he is pretty much nothing. He goes down easily. But again, it's little touches like this that really add to the overall experience you get from this mod. So much more so than you got with the original game. And there we go. That is an official wrap on the entirety 
of the Transformers the Game 2.0 mod Decepticon Campaign. We are done. Alright, so I really don't think I have any key criticisms I could give the Decepticon campaign, honestly. At least when comparing it to the Autobot campaign, because well, you can pretty much play as any Decepticon you want where it makes sense to, since none of the main Decepticons actually die <laughs> compared to the Autobots who lost Jazz. Yeah, I really don't have any core criticisms I have for this particular campaign. Nothing comes to mind, anyway. Well, uh, as far as my favorite level goes, it's probably gonna be either Airbase or the city. Uh, actually, I think I'd go city, but I'd put Airbase right behind that one. Because there was such challenge added to all the chapters, well, except chapter 2, I suppose, but... It was just such a good fight for all of them, really. And I had a great time with that one, and Airbase was equally as good. Especially on that first chapter where you almost die in Airbase. <laughs> that was so welcoming. Yeah, those are definitely my two top favorites. Hmm. Yeah, well, with that done, there are but two more videos I have to do for the 2.0 mod. And I think you all know what that is. Yep, the drones. We'll be closing off the 2.0 mod with a complete coverage of all the 2.0 mod drones, starting with the Decepticon drones as we fought them first. So look forward to that next week. We're almost done with this mod, and we're gonna wrap it all up with the drones, as I know you all love your drones. All right, that'll do it for this episode. I will see you next time. Till then, don't drone around. I don't know, stupid, what do you want from me? Goodbye.